Hi guys. I'm here today with you another story. Hang on a sec. I'm going to adjust my thing. Out of my dreams and miracles book. Um, I did a bunch last night, so um, the one I said I was going to read today, it's on a video from last night. So if you're wanting to hear it, you'd ha you'll have to go back to last night's video. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I did a few last night because I was bored. I'm starting to get a headache. I'm hoping to not have to take my migraine shot. Anyway, the, the um, one we're going to read today, and this is... Um, Dreams and Miracles by Ann Spangler, and these are all true stories that people write in. <clears throat> about dreams and miracles they've had in their lives. Um, this one is called A Dream Healed My Fear, and it's by Debbie Topliff. Let me begin with the introduction. Debbie is the mother of three children. She attended the University of Michigan in the late 1960s and early 1970s when the counterculture movement was in full swing. Like many students, she was searching for big answers to big questions. Who or what made the universe? Is there a God? Does he care about me? What's the meaning of my life? Through a series of misadventures, she eventually discovered deeply satisfying answers to her questions. Throughout the years, her dreams have sometimes yielded surprising insights. She had the following dream on Labor Day, 1993. Now let's get into the story. I have sometimes wondered whether I might lose my faith if something really terrible happened. That fear must have been lurking in the background when I had a horrible nightmare three years ago in the early morning hours of Labor Day. For as long as I can remember, I have had a problem with claustrophobia. It especially bothers me if my legs are constricted in any way. The thought that I might not be able to move them is enough to drive me crazy. In my dream, I am trapped in an underground tunnel I am alone in the darkness, and I can hardly breathe. I have no idea how I got there or what has happened. I only know I am buried alive. I cannot move my legs. I am suffocating. I am so terrified that I wake up. Afterward, I felt such a sense of panic that I had to get out of bed and walk around, reassuring myself it had not really happened. Whenever dreams leave such a strong impression, I have found it good to pray about them in case God is trying to tell me something. That morning, I asked myself how I would react if I really were buried alive. Would God still be with me? Would I lose my faith? I didn't know the answer. As I was praying and turning these things over in my mind, it suddenly occurred to me to wonder about the circumstances of my birth. My mother had always told me it had been a breech birth. I consumed, I, sorry, I assumed that meant I had entered the world bottom first. Perhaps my claustrophobia was connected to this early trauma. As I continued to pray, I felt God reassuring me, just as he had brought me safely through the birth canal. He would bring me safely through life. Whatever difficulty I faced, he would be there. I didn't think I was imagining the message of his comfort. Two days later, the strangest thing happened. My mother and I were talking on the phone when she brought up the subject of my birth. She had been out walking the dog on Labor Day when the thought popped into her head. I wonder if Debbie knows about her breech birth. I told her I knew that a breech birth meant the baby came out bottom first. Not in your case, she told me. You came out with your legs straight in front of you. No wonder I was so sensitive whenever my legs felt constricted. It all fell into place. 
the dream, God's reassurance, my mother's revelation. By praying through the dream and talking to my mother, I had been giving a deeper understanding of God's care. I couldn't help but chuckle at God's timing. I knew it was no accident that he began showing me the connection between my fear and the circumstances of my birth on the very day we celebrate as Labor Day. I was thinking that the whole time. I thought I was the only one. I'm thinking about the story on Labor Day. But that was Debbie Topliff's story, A Dream Healed My Fear. So uh, that was today's story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. God bless.